It's a couple days ago, I finished playing through Mifamato, a Sekiro-inspired 2D pixel art gore fest that released last week on July 18th. But after being the final boss, it became fairly obvious that there was a serious discrepancy between the game's original Kickstarter trailer and what we got as a final product. And by discrepancy, I mean 90% of the content in the original trailer was not present in the final game. That seems kind of weird, given that the devs at Old Bit exceeded their Kickstarter goal of $40,000, in fact, reaching nearly $50,000 across about 1,400 backers. So what happened to the game that was promised on their Kickstarter? Well, to find an answer for this, I delved into the Steam forums where developers have been trying to explain exactly what the hell happened, especially since reviews for the game have been less than stellar. According to one developer named Zmok, they never received any of their Kickstarter funding and have been self-funded during the entire span of the game's development. When a Steam user asked why there weren't any executions for enemies like there were in the trailer, Zmok responded, Budget reasons. We've never received the money from Kickstarter due to sanctions from the US on our country. This prompted another user to ask, So you're saying that you guys never received money from the Kickstarter? Smock responds, no, never did. So that's interesting. So why didn't the devs get their Kickstarter money? Smock elucidates this in another forum thread. We're from Belarus, but the sanctions impacted us the same way as Russia. Kickstarter actually sent the money, but it's the banks that refuse making transactions to residents of Belarus or Russia. The thing is, Kickstarter doesn't allow you to create campaigns on their platform from our country, so we signed an agreement with a U.S. company which was supposed to receive the money and then transfer the funds to us after taking their cut of the taxes they needed to pay. It's a common practice for residents of those countries that are not supported by Kickstarter. Eventually our partners couldn't send us the money because of the sanctions on the banking sector. Well, it's a long story short, uh, the whole situation is even more complex. When more Steam users asked how they created the game without any money, Zmot clarifies, Before Kickstarter, we've been working on it for about two years as a part-time job. And after the Kickstarter campaign, we had to rely on a small budget from our own money. So it turns out the devs self-funded the development of Mifamaru as a passion project, as they still wanted to release something despite not having the means to do so. And apparently the Kickstarter funds are still there, just inaccessible. So what will happen if the sanctions are eased up and they can finally access their Kickstarter funds? Well, another user asked that very question and Zmok followed up yet again. If we end up receiving the money, then we would have all we would ever need to bring the original concept to life. Mifamata was a dream project that's been building up in my mind for a very long time. It's not possible to just throw it away. So that's pretty interesting. We've got a game whose original vision was funded on Kickstarter, the goals were met, but due to international sanctions, the funds were never released. As a result, the devs made the best of what they could do given that they were self-funded, but the initial release of the game was rather lackluster and not very positive. If they do ever receive the funds and work to bring the game up to the original vision as promised, then it'll definitely be worth picking up. But as of now, speaking as one of the very few people who have even played the game, let alone completed it, it's definitely not something I can recommend unless you're really curious. I have several gripes with the initial release, some of which are baffling. My main grievance has to do with the fact that if you use a controller, the left analog stick doesn't move your character. <laughs> You need to use the D-pad to move around. I opted instead to use a mouse and keyboard, which was a fine substitute, but the lack of standard controller support for a game like this is extremely strange. There are also a host of other quality of life issues that should have been addressed prior to release. Uh, the map is totally broken. If you move it around, it turns into some kind of MC Etcher painting. Special attacks require the use of items to use them again and are unintuitive to execute. Some of the boss fights are totally bullshit and are difficult for the sake of it as opposed to having memorable attack patterns. The last half of the game only features a save point before a given boss, while the first half of the game had a plentiful number of them. This results in the last half of the game becoming a grueling gauntlet to slog through, having to traverse the same dozen or so rooms over and over again before succeeding in finally being able to save your progress right before a boss. 
It's not all bad though, as beneath the rough exterior, there is a core combat system here that can be satisfying when everything comes together. The implementation of the Sekiro Guard and Deathblow mechanics works really well, and it's really fun to parry and eviscerate an enemy in a single strike. And the final boss in particular was a lot of fun to fight, as it was really well designed. The art style as well was also commendable, as the areas all seemed interesting, especially for the latter half of the game. But unfortunately, there's just not enough here for me to recommend Mifamato, unless the devs either make a ton of quality of life improvements or receive the funds to actually implement their original vision. Anyway, I just found Mifamato to be an interesting case study in expectations versus reality and the extent a developer is willing to go in order to see their passion project through to fruition, even after suffering major pitfalls along the way. What do you think? Is Mifamato just another Kickstarter scam, or do you give the devs an A for effort? Let me know down in the comments. But anyway, that's all I got for you. Now get the hell out of here. <laughs> Boy,